behind the motor. Spewing a lot at the bottom of it. You driving to the river? I guess so. I don't know, it's just shut off. I don't have very good brakes either, so. It's clean up here, Thomas. You're good for the bears. Let me get fire safety back in place here. I'm going to say thanks for pulling in the grass. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. <laughs> at least a little bit. Yeah, it saved us a little bit. From the back, just pull it off backwards. Yeah. Go yeah, right behind the wheel. I can get a push it by hand out of the grass. All right, I don't want it on the track, so I want to push it yeah, off the return road behind the, the wall. Well, we gotta get it turned around either way. Like I said, if we can just push it back behind the wall, we can go race it. What happened? Do we want to push it or pull it? Let's try pushing it. We gotta get it out of here right now. In the grass behind the wall. I'm just gonna go like this. I don't want it. I can't put it on the racing surface. I just want to go right through the road. Whatever you do, watch your temper. Yeah, you're gonna slip. Big pile of Michael, we'll be fine. All right. Oh, 
Michael, push your around. Get that Michael, Michael, Michael get over it. Just I mean, if I can get around the corner, I can get it. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day and a better day than I am right now. Um, unfortunately, we got some really bad news. Uh, on frostbite, not good. Not good, guys. As you can see, we have a tarp rolled out. We got a winch cable. We got frostbite over back here to the trailer. We're about to winch it in the trailer and uh it's not good pretty sure well not pretty sure i'm positive we blew the smithereens absolute shit out of frostbite we blew it sky high um from what i can tell underneath the motor there's a hole in the side of the passenger side of the block about the size of my hand and it actually blew out and broke the transmission brace um, that bolts, you know, the bottom of the uh, block and the bell housing. So we uh, we blew up, guys. Blew up hard. Uh, we stayed in it all the way down on the first pass today. Uh, we were spraying it with a little little bit of nitrous. Um, you know, trying to get that nine for you guys and for myself. Trying to push this stock engine to the absolute limits, and uh, we may have found it. Although I, I really don't think. We'll find out when I tear it down, but I don't think it was a... 
I don't think we actually broke like say a rod or a piston was an actual failure. I think something else caused it. I'm really thinking I had a valve train failure. Um, we're spinning this thing. I crossed the traps on that pass over seven grand, 71, 7200 at least. And it blew right there, like right before the traps, right after the traps, somewhere in that zone. And uh, I think we lost some valve train and it may have dropped the valve, which broke a piston, I'm sure, which threw a rod through the side of the block. But I don't really think it was a piston or rod failure. That's my guess right now. When we tear it apart, we'll find out. But I, I think we had a valve train failure is my guess. I didn't hear anything. It didn't make no noises. It just, just smoked everywhere, guys. And the truck caught on fire. It caught on fire. Not a big fire, little bit of a fire, but it scared the shit out of me. Um, I had trouble trying to stop the truck because when it shut off, we had no more power brakes. Um, it was a real, it was a real bitch to stop the truck. Um, it was scary. I'm not going to lie. Uh, my daughter, she was here. She was bawling. Um, but everything's okay. The truck's okay. Uh, it's got a couple bruises on the back bumper where the grass uh, kind of bent up the roll pan trying to get it pulled over. Um, but no fire damage. We got that out. There's oil everywhere, obviously. So we got a lot of cleanup and we got to fix it. But just wanted to kind of give you guys that, that, uh, that heads up. Stay tuned, we'll have some more footage here soon. And uh, yeah, otherwise guys, everything did good. My transmission man, transmission held together all, all day long, no problem, all weekend. FRP, you know, this is definitely not his fault at all. Um, his tune was dead on, spot on, everything about it was good. He had us running awesome. And uh, Torque Storm Superchargers, we obviously is making some serious damn boost um i believe we were hitting 21 pounds or to at least around 21 pounds i think on that on that pass and driven racing oil hey helping us out all they can i appreciate them um you know we had some nice some nice licks to this weekend at least you know give or take on the weather fighting us but kind of hard with a glare nice shot nice wheel stands this weekend um, we gave it some hell guys we gave it hell we just took the tires the front tires off of my truck and I put them on uh, we put them on pickles truck we're trying to get him down a little faster in the bottom 13s so he can be competitive the DA is nasty it's hot and uh, we're trying to make him a little quicker so I just gave him my front uh, skinnies uh, to put on his truck to uh, drop some weight and hopefully get him down in the basement where we need him so we're about to go make uh, we're about to go watch him make a pass and uh, hopefully he can do something and uh, yeah other than that guys hey appreciate you guys on the channel um, supporting the channel stay tuned we got obviously we're gonna have some big things coming up now and uh, hey hit that like button subscribe share we need the help now, brother. We got to fix this thing, um, especially if we want to try to make it to Mo Party, which is my plan. So, we'll be back again, stronger and better than ever as a plan. So, stay tuned for the Teardown Carnage videos. That should be uh, pretty interesting. But other than that, guys, we'll see you on the next one.